And welcome back. For a while, it seemed that the social strife that erupted in Virginia and other surrounding states during the pandemic about what was actually being taught in our public schools sort of skipped over the state of Maryland. During the last gubernatorial election, uh, Republican candidate Dan Cox efforts to gain political leverage using this as a topic seem to be mostly unsuccessful. But now a parent's right group in Baltimore County has picked up this issue and wants to ban two books from the Baltimore public school system. Mark, you know, I'm old enough to remember that when D.H., you know, I'm not quite that old, but D.H. Lawrence published Lady Chatterley's Lover in, the 19, in 1928, you know, the issue about what was appropriate reading for the public, in particular in schools, has raged as a topic of concern, even up to the 60s, that book was being debated. You know, uh, now there's this group in Baltimore County seeking to ban genderqueer and lawn boy as, you know, two books that they have argued are, should be illegal because it is akin to distributing obscene material to minors. How do we address this? Well, first, let me just Let's correct the, the record that you weren't around in 1928 when the book was published. Uh, later, uh, almost, almost. Almost, but sometimes it feels that way. Uh, this is, I, I guess, a classic example of a conflict of values between what parents have as, um, uh, you know, and, and where the school system in, in a, is a balance of, of interest and in, in, in trade-offs. Um, and it's inevitable to take place when we have a school system that is largely designed sort of one size fits all. Um, I think the more appropriate solution is to allow for more educational choice that can accommodate the diversity of interests. Because I, I also appreciate the fact there are going to be other parents who are going to say, yeah, this is something that ought to be a part of a part of the curriculum. Uh, and I, in our society, we really need to acknowledge the fact that there are uh, there are a diversity of, of views on, on the way kids should be educated. But there's also a strong push right now. We're seeing, I think, you know, there's a frustration as, you know, test scores keep coming back where, you know, reading and mathematic uh, uh, learning levels are not being achieved. And there's a, there's a pushback saying, you know, the schools need to refocus on what their educational targets should be. So Mara say, how should it be determined? You know, should the schools be allowed to decide what's what's being taught the professionals or, is, or, or should parents have a more active role in determining what is being taught in public schools? Well, in the state of Maryland, we have the precedent that, you know, the, the state legislature does not tell educators what the curriculum should be. The professionals do that. They're, you know, the actual, the actual teachers and the educators actually do that. The State Department of, of Education does that. Um, I don't think that we need to change that. Um, and to answer the question in terms of, you know, should the parents have a say, you know, I think there is there is some input, but when it comes to, you know, public funds going to public schools, we have to create a curriculum that that is inclusive, that does shape uh, you know, the leaders of tomorrow to understand a world. Uh, with folks of all backgrounds, all, you know, sexual orientations, etc. Um, so I think that uh, when it comes to reading and, and mathematics, we have a blueprint, we have a lot to look forward to. The governor is on board. Um, and the state of Maryland, you know, we are very proud to have finally uh, uh, passed a, um, you know, a social, what is it, social justice with some racial equity, no, social equity with in racial justice lens, that's going to make sure that all all students in the state of Maryland will be college or some kind of post-secondary uh, program ready by tenth, the 10th grade. Well, that's, that's a remarkable, you know, <laughs> uh, goal if it can be, if it can be achieved. Mark, I'll give you the last word on this. I, I got, I, there's so many jurisdictions in the state of Maryland where we're well short of that particular objective. It would be great for us to finally be able to reach it. Well said. Uh, we got to keep pushing this. This is not an this is an issue that's going to continue to grow. As I think, as as a as a political issue, and you know, although it has not really taken hold here in Montgomery County yet, I'm sure that there are those who are going to keep advocating uh, for the for this topic. <laughs>